you have a, a great line in the book, a vision is a dream with a plan. Yeah. Uh, I, that's, it's, a, it's an entrepreneur's mantra. Um, and, but you say that owner's personal vision can become the lifeblood of the company. So how does an owner get everyone who works for them to buy into their <clears throat> personal vision? Well, the first thing is you got to know what the dream is. And a lot of business owners did not go in business because they had a dream. They went into business because one, there was a market opportunity, maybe they needed a job, they got fired or whatever. So that, that to me is, is, is essential, is you, you've got you to understand the dream. And, and one of the things why, why I, I, uh, I actually uh, named this the dream room down there, is it's a place where you can go and not only you can sit there and think, you can bring people in, but you can also write. Because the important thing is write your dream. Articulate your dream. It took me until 1989, 1990, actually 1991 when Tom McLeod came, we really articulated the dream, believe it or not. I hadn't written it in, on the, I put it on paper. I mean, I talked to people and I told them, you know, what my dream was of being recognized as a world leader in dog and cat nutrition. Maybe not those words, but until Tom came and really understood what the dream was and how do we institutionalize the dream, we, were, we had a lot of confusion in the business, believe it or not. And once we got that right, once we got the vision right, we got the mission right, we got our set of values or beliefs, we got those in, in writing, and they became really the, the guideposts for us to, to move forward. But the first thing is a dream. I, in fact, when I meet a business owner for the first time, I'm always trying to figure out where's the dream, what's the dream, and how can I help them achieve their, their dream. And part of that helping achieve the dream is the vision, and the vision is a dream of the plan, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But you can't, you're not going to get the, the dream. You've got to get the dream articulated first. I mean, my dream was I, 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 I knew that long term I, I was not going to be able to work for anybody else. I, I knew that when I worked for General Motors for a year and seven years at Campbell Soup and every day, you know, running the risk of getting fired uh, because <laughs> I told somebody what I thought rather than what <laughs> was politically correct. And, um, and I knew that I, I really was never going to be successful in, until I could run my own business. And then running my own business, I wanted to run it a different way because I believed that the businesses and the systems that, that I knew of before were really deterrents to people being productive. But I could see it every day. I, I could see it, and the, the folks on the, on the bottom line couldn't communicate with the people at the top, and the people at the top didn't know what was going on in, in the trenches. And, and, and I didn't believe that you could build a business and make it big and still have those same characteristics. And we were up to 2,000 employees at IMS, and I, I think we did a better job at 2,000 employees than we did at 20 employees in terms of, of in cor corporate amendment of the culture and having them truly understand what the, what the purpose of the business was and what it, how it impacted them. How it impacted them. That's, that's so important. You know, so not you what, it's not what I thought. It's what. Right. I think about, I mean, so many entrepreneurs and small business people start out like with that kind of idea. Like, I am done working for these idiots. I'm going to, I can do this better myself. The dream is to be free um, of all that nonsense. Um, <laughs> that's why I'm a freelancer now. Yeah. <laughs> and you work 16 hours a day. Days, right? I don't, I don't. <laughs> 